I've seen my friends taking up the PTA exam again and again, failing multiple times. Well, I don't want to do it. I don't want to follow the same footsteps of my friends. Rather, what I want, it's okay, I can wait, I can prepare, but I want that 90 overall on the very first go. Well, if you belong to this category, then you have to follow the nine expert tips that I am unveiling in this video. Just follow this, trust me on this, scores are guaranteed. Make sure you watch the video till the end if you want to make most out of this video. Hey everybody, Michael here from Skills PT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with at another super awesome power packed video on nine expert tips to get that 90 overall on the very first go. So before we get into the video, if you're not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance, it's a paid assistance. We have shared a WhatsApp link at the bottom of uh, the screen. There's a description. You can click on the link and send us a message. I'll be there. We will be there to help you guide in the right direction. All right. Without a further delay, let's straight away get right into the video. Let me just share my screen. Nine expert tips rather pass PT on your very first call. Well, um, today I will be in detail explaining the nine tips is you know just this nine tips enough definitely is because i've inculcated each and everything in this so let's check out the very first step speaking is the key remember in pta if your speaking goes down your reading also will go down listening also will go down well this is not the case with respect to ielts exam your speaking goes down only speaking goes down it is not an integrated exam but pte is an integrated exam meaning read aloud the very first module in speaking contributes 33 to 35 marks to speaking and 33 to 35 marks to reading also your speaking could be 90 it doesn't mean that you would have gotten the full marks to the reading from speaking speaking is the key just speak fast you will get speaking 90 doesn't mean that you will get that 35 marks to reading and 41 marks from speaking that is from repeat sentence and written lecture contributes to listening your speaking 90 doesn't mean that you are getting 35 marks to reading and 41 marks to listening remember this you got to follow certain protocols if speaking goes low reading and listening won't come up no matter how good you are in the reading fill in the blanks listening fill in the blank write from dictation reorder entire thing i'm so good at it but because of speaking your marks could be low which to a naked eye is not seen clearly make sure to speak at a natural speed right now i'm talking to you at a very natural speed am i putting some emotions and trying to speak as if i'm very happy as if i'm very sad no i'm just going at a very natural speed do you want to have a coffee with me normal speed don't go fast don't go slow you may see speaking 90 even when you make mistakes but not the reading and listening um, be aware of it natural speed don't rush no intonations correct there should not be up and down what if i start speaking like this all these things should not be there no f f f f f fumble should not be there no uh, 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 hesitation should not be there for this this should be very clear clarity is very important what gives you mark is fluency don't go behind content don't go behind a lot of you know this uh, i mean the pronunciation things not required just have crisp clarity on what you speak let the software understand and go at a natural speed i think um, one more thing is just speak as if you talk to your friend this is true with respect to your read aloud repeat sentence describe image read a lecture and everything inside the speaking section uh, a simple example could be like this uh, read aloud Market research is a vital part of the planning of any business, however experienced. No, if you speak like this, again, marks will go down towards your reading. You may get speaking 90, may not be reading. Market research is a vital part of the planning of any business. This also will take away your complete marks to speaking and reading more. The natural way, the way I'm talking to you right now, in that way you need to speak, wherever pauses are required. You give, wherever full stop is there, you give. Don't try to add the things. In the worst case, if you add a word which is not there in the text, it's totally fine. But all those are only in the worst case scenario. Just be natural. Market research is a vital part of the planning of any business. However experienced, you or your staff may be at a particular field. If you are introducing a subject to a new area, this is the way to speak in the read aloud. This is the way to speak in the describe image. This is the way to speak in the written lecture. This is the way to speak, even in repeat sentence. It is not what you speak, rather it is how you speak. Remember this. This is the first thing, first expert tip from my experience. Let's move on to the second one. I told you, don't worry too much about the content. If there is a difficult word, you can skip. Not all the words you can skip. One or two words, you can still skip and get a mark. 
template okay in the social media you just type my youtube pte it will auto correct auto complete using the word template because they're that popular so as a result a person who is not into pte who's just fresh just landed to understand pte would automatically go with the templates because everywhere it's all about templates 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 the reality is templates are not that very important remember so many people including me see in 2017 there were no template concept nothing there's only one youtube channel <laughs> Where to follow that and just study, correct? No template kind of things were there. I passed my exam without templates. Then why are you still stuck with this concept? I think this template is not working. I'll change. It will give me marks. No, all these things will not give the mark. All these give you marks only in YouTube, correct? Correct. So I passed the exam without any templates. But when you are using them, use it wisely. Say essay template. Essay has a template. Written lecture has a template. Summarize spoken text has a template. Describe image has a template. All these four only have templates. All these are not a priority. Essay will give you 12 marks. Written lecture, some 6 to 8 marks. Summarize spoken text, 6 to 8 marks. Describe image, some 6 to 8 marks. All this, in any way, if you add cumulatively, will not contribute to total 90. Then how can templates guarantee you 90? The reality is this, templates will help you to a certain extent. Essay, when you write on your own, you may make a lot of mistakes. You use a template, the mistakes can be reduced. But again, if you're using a template, you cannot use any random template. Again, the marks will go down. If you don't use a template, probably you'll get more marks. Okay? Okay. Right. So, what kind of template should I avoid? In essay, I've written here, don't use keyword template. Templates will be there, dash, dash, comma, dash, comma, dash, comma, dash, four keywords. Hey, that will not work, man. Trust me. And one sentence template. Entire thing, 230 words essay will be that generic sentences. Only one line, there will be a blank for you to write. It's so easy, right? I don't want to learn English. I don't have to learn English. I don't want to learn grammar. I don't want to learn anything. Just give me this, I'll get the scores. You will not get the scores. You want 50, you will get it. 65, 17, and you have to learn, man. Sooner or later, you will realize this. So if you're using an essay template, then make sure you use a template which asks you to write five sentences on your own with a mixture of simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence. You can check out my essay video. Written lecture template. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information. Use a lengthy template so that you get that flow. That, 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 that. The flow will automatically come. The speaker told. The speaker told. Here the flow is not there. Doesn't mean that you cannot get marks. You have to get the flow with whatever you have written. But if you use a lengthy template, automatically the flow will come. Plus, avoid using keyword template. That keyword if you speak and if the software doesn't understand, then you don't get the marks. Correct? Use a template which asks you to put some three to four phrases, a small sentence. Summarize spoken text also. You have to use a template which, are, which allows you to write three to four sentences, which gives you the freedom to write on your own. Not, uh, you know, constricting you to just put four words, which may not grammatically make sense most of the times. Describe image. <laughs> use a template which do not give you a lot of words to add. Because describe image, what matters is the fluency, not the content. It is an image getting it right. So you try to see the image and then speak, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. So if you use a template which has so many blanks, well, if you're capable enough, then you will do it. If you're not, then probably in, you know, like putting the keywords over there, in doing so, you end up fumbling, you end up hesitating. As a result, fluency gone, case gone. Correct. Use a template in describe image which do not have keywords. So these are the template protocols. Hope you are getting it. So all these are very important, uh, crucial information. You follow this, you trust this, you will see a great result. You will have a great future as well in the coming days. You don't do this and stick to templates. Nothing magical can happen in the exam. Remember this. Expert tip number three. Know the important modules. There are 20 modules in PT Academic, 19 modules in PT Core. Everything is not important. The only six modules. Read aloud. Repeat sentence. Reading fill in the blank. Reading, writing fill in the blank. Listening fill in the blank. Write from dictation. Only the six if you're perfect. You have to get the scores. But what we usually concentrate on, where we follow, where we you know, go and concentrate on, mostly on essay, summarized written text, summarized spoken text. And we think essay, summarized written text, if I perform well, I'll get 90 writing. Writing 90 will come from reading, writing fill in the blanks. The fourth in the line. Listening fill in the blank, write from dictation. These three modules, contribute some 75 to 80 marks to writing. The remaining 15, 
10 to 15 marks to writing will come from your summarized written text and essay. Correct. So, these six, if you are perfect, you will get the scores. But these six, there is no shortcut. Probably read aloud and repeat sentence. Speaking, you can ignore. There are some shortcuts you can finish it off. Reading, fill in the blank, strategy, grammar, reading skill, collocations, vocabulary. If you are not good at it, definitely will not get the scores. Repeated questions. No questions will repeat. One question will repeat probably for one person out of 100 people. So, it, it, it does not um, make sense to rely on the repeated questions by the way. Reading, writing, fill in the blanks, full of grammar, listening, fill in the blanks, full of listening skills, accent and spelling, right from dictation, listening skills, accent, concentration, spelling. So, here uh, you know template, template, trick, tips and tricks work, it is short, no shortcuts, it is strategies, correct, it is your temperament, it is your patience, so not many factors contribute to this, English skills. So, First know this so that you would know what all things I need to prepare. You directly check only in the YouTube, of course not my site, not my channel. But many have seen, just they say, just go with the templates, you will get the scores. You can log into this website and pay the money for the templates, do not pay anybody for the templates. Templates do not give any marks, remember this. These are the modules that give marks and for these modules you need time. If you are already good in English, I will get you 19 3 days. If you are not good, if you are average, for a 90 it may take 3 to 6 months. For a 65, it may take 1 to 2 months. The reality is, well, in the past there have been people who have done 90 overall in 1 week, 2 week also, but they are exceptionally good in English. Correct? The reality is. Alright, understand approach before starting to practice. See, you have a lot of websites. So many websites provide you means to practice. Doesn't mean that you go there, you just keep practicing. Practicing gives you mental satisfaction, remember this. So, you practice, I'm not denying it, you can practice only when you know the approach. Otherwise, it's like you don't know 1 plus 1, but you're solving a bigger mathematical problem. Nothing magical can come out of it, isn't it? Practicing without approach is like solving complex maths problem without knowing the basic addition. Reading fill in the blank, listening fill in the blank, right from dictation. All these have approaches. You cannot simply read and start doing things on your own. Relying on your intuition, relying on your kidney, lungs, no. This has grammar things, this has collocation, this has vocabulary, this has finding the clues, listening fill in the blanks, grammar you can apply to understand if yes sound was there or not. Plus spelling, right from dictation, pure listening skills. You got to understand, divide them into phrases, first phrase, second phrase, third phrase. If you don't know this approach, you just practice, you memorize whatever you listen and just write. Four or five words you will write even after one year of practice. That's what nothing magical can happen when you practice. Magical can happen only when you practice with an approach. So, finish my recent 6 hour, recently made one and a half month ago, 6 hour full course, grammar, collocation, everything for this reading, fill in the blank, reading, writing, fill in the blanks. Only this model because this is difficult. Check them out, man. It's 6 hours of your time, all I'm, all I'm asking. You get the right approach. After that, you practice. Okay, so, I made many videos on the approaches, finish them off, understand the approach and then you practice. Without knowing an approach, if you simply practice, it is like you do not have a destination, but you have a bow and arrow, you want to just hit, but where? Which, which fruit you want to eat? No fruits, nothing you know. You know of, he is getting it, right? So, know the things, understand the approach and then start practicing. This is one fundamental mistake, basic mistake, what most of the newbies end up committing. The fifth one, spelling will rip the scores away, will rip away your scores. Trust me, why I am good at spelling is what every individual, so far I have seen so many people, more than 30,000 students um, who have joined the course in the past um, close to 6 years. Literally, 99% of the people whom I talked to before enrolling for the course told, I am I spelling, I don't have a problem. So, then I asked them a very simple word, rabbit you tell me boss and then you tell me habit. When I put these two words, no, they got confused. Which is R A B B I T or R A B I T? Which is H A B B I T or H A B I T? So this is the problem. What I am telling you is simple spellings like compatible, compatible. This is wrong. This is right. Habit, rabbit. B B B B is interchanged. So in simple words like this, you have problems. Think about a little difficult words. But the problem with spelling is, let's say there is a word in listening, fill in the blank or write from dictation. A rabbit pounced on this particular thing and ate it. And you wrote R A B I T and continue thinking R A B I T is perfect. You wouldn't even know that you made a mistake. See, as a human, when we know or when we realize who oh, this is the mistake we have done, 
as a human nature, we try to correct it. But the point here is you will not even know the mistakes that you have done. Just, just give it a thought to this psychology. When you don't even know what you would do, hey, I think this exam is a scam. I did so good. Everything was perfect. This is what mostly my students tell, tell me once they give exam. Everything perfect. Score is 72. Everything is perfect. Score is 55. Why? Because of this. They assume that whatever they wrote was correct with respect to spelling, but they don't know the correct spelling. They have assumed that whatever they know is the correct spelling. Hope you are getting it. So spellings are little very tricky, little tricky. So you need a separate dedication, you know, like dedicated time to work on the spellings. In our course, we have spelling test every day. Soon we are building a spelling app as well. Um, probably within three, four months, it should be live. I'll again update you all as and when I have some updates. But yes, spelling work towards that. There, is, there could be a lot of apps. If you don't want to join a course, then invest your time rightly. Go to Google, find some spelling tests, work towards it. Use ChatGPT OpenUI chatgpt.com go there ask the robot give me some hundred spellings to learn today use your time wisely because these are the important things don't spend your time on templates and tips and tricks thinking some easy things will get me 90 easy things will never give you 90 remember this it's a difficult exam all right sixth one this is quite an information always take official mock before attempting the final exam see there's so many websites so many mocks um well i'm not against them but they cannot come closer to what pearson gives because pearson has a different software they will not give their software to anybody just like that you also can create a website and give scores remember this correct so official mock from pearson in the pearson uh, website ptpractice.com there is an official mock you can type pearson practice test a b c d e is there you can take any one of them this is for only pt academic at the moment we're talking about june 26th 2024 and from july probably they, they're going to add some more mocks for uh, pt core which i'm not sure pt official mock test you got to take and whatever the scores that you see here most likely same scores you get in the exam one or two marks three four marks here and there can vary in the official mock, there are high chances that people get zero in speaking. If that happens, reading, listening will go down because of the mic issue. When that such a thing happens, only the writing, whatever you see in the official mock, that would be the reflection of what you get in your exam. Remember this. But this exam will save your money. Official mock test is $35. Main exam, 10 times of it. Correct? So, the point, not 10 times, probably like um, 5 times of it. The point is, take official mock, record the mock see your recording, know the correct answers via YouTube or Google, understand who write from dictation, who you full problems, listening fill in the blanks, full wrong, reading FIB, oh, this many mistakes, don't book the exam, work towards it, work towards it. So this is an indication where you stand in the exam. You don't have to take the final exam and get demotivated. Again and again, people keep trying it. Use official mock test. This is going to be a ripper. I'm telling you, this will definitely guide you in the right direction. All right, seventh one, remember, 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 it's an English test. It is not Hindi test. It is not any other native language test. Then what's stopping you, what's bothering you from learning the language, man, isn't it? You got to pay attention, be ready passionately to learn English. If you are not ready for it, then scores will not come just by practicing at the end of the day. It is reading skill, listening skills. Speaking skill is not required. Writing skill is also not required. It's reading and listening skill if you are good. And these two, you need to niche it. You need to improve on it. How? <laughs> One hour of reading activity. You got to read novels, journal, magazines, newspaper. At least one hour if you can give more time. Well and good. 30 minutes of listening activity. Most of the people who I talk to on an everyday basis will not even, you know, understand if I change the accent of an audio, if I play the Australian accent or British accent. It is so difficult for so many people to understand what it was. As a result, repeat sentence gone case. Entire listening gone case. Just a practice. Will not work. Improve on your listening skills. Watch movies. Correct? Half an hour listening to a TV series English or podcasts. Anything 30 minutes, one hour of reading. This has to be a must. Apart from this, you give some time to practice. Only I will practice without improving on my skills. It's like having bow and arrow, energy, everything. But you don't know whom to target. Something like that. Without, you don't have a direction at all. Skill improvement is the must. Remember, this is one of the best expert tips that I can tell you. This is very crucial. Only speaking, you don't need English. Well, you need in repeat sentence, but still you can... You know, get away with a good score, even if you don't have a great English. But rest of the modules, 
I, I am promising you it is not possible if you don't have good English or if you are not good with English skills pertaining to uh, reading skill, listening skills. Alright, so eighth one, remember, remember, remember. Don't try to assume things about software. I did first attempt 54 speaking or 61 speaking, second attempt 48 speaking because I assumed everything about the software. I think if I speak like this, it will be more clearer for the software. I need to stress the words, oh, clearly open my mouth, market research, then I'll get the marks. This is what people think, newbies. Guys, I have walked that path. That's one of the reasons why I'm confidently standing over here and talking to you using a camera and some lights and a mic. Getting it right? So don't try to assume things about software. Remember, whatever you think is right will be 100% wrong and whatever you think is wrong is 100% right. As I told in many of the videos, we are developing a website, our own software. So um, we took the help of you of the AI data. We are trying to find similarities. Like for summarized written text, there is a paragraph and you write a summary. This summary and the paragraph, there should be some similarity, right? So we are trying some, you can, you know, like, um, I mean, type this, they are called cosine similarity because I myself into coding, so I know a few things, how it is working and also cosine similarity and many things are there, uh, the existing um, APIs we can get from the AI model or the machine learning model. So there we tried three sentences. Just have a look at this then, th these three sentences. Tell me or you can leave a comment. Two of them are similar. Which one? Which of these are similar? That's the question. So this is what I thought. I am very tired today, exhausted right now for no reason. A and C are very much similar. Isn't it so? Correct? So we expect the same from the A model to give. But what A model gave? A and B are similar. Read B. Today tiring is not an option. A says I am very tired today. B says today tiring is not an option. A and B are completely different to the naked eye, to this brain, to this Albert Einstein brain of ours. A and B are completely different, isn't it? But A I told, A and B are same because you don't know the meaning of what A, what C, what B. All it can do is some matching of the words. Tired is there, today is there, tiring is there, today is there. It shows some similarity. A and C are not similar at all. This is what happens in summarized written text when you try to write on your own trying to find a different world. People have, have seen some IELTS trainers taking PT and tell them, don't use the same words, use some other word. All these problems. Writing gone case, reading gone case. So whatever you think is right is 100% wrong. Whatever you think is wrong is 100% right. I myself was, you know, like flabbergasted when I saw this. It is giving A and B are equal. So the idea is very simple. Don't try to predict it. Only a person who has enough experience in it can actually give you the right amount of input or the data. Hope you are getting it. If you trust me, follow this, you will get the scores. Work towards it. If you don't trust me, it's also okay. Correct? But the reality is, don't try to assume things about software. That's the uh, most important thing. All right, the last one. Always have patience for the only fact that Rome was not built in a day. Rome is such a beautiful city. Correct? Getting 19 PD is such a beautiful feeling. I want to do it tomorrow. It may not happen. I, may, I have to do it next week only. It may not happen. I have 10 days to go. I have to do it. I am at 50. It may not happen within one year also. Have patience. Your day will come. Some take one month from my experience. Some take two months. I have seen students not even reaching 50 in one year. Because their English is so poor. All these years they have not studied English at all. Have not paid attention to English, have not paid attention to spelling. All of a sudden, you cannot learn everything, even this will not support. Correct? This, you can eat only what it demands. More than that, if you eat, you will put it out. The same thing is happening for a lot of people. So, know your level, what you are capable of at the moment, what is your background, what is your past. Were you a reader before? No. Started reading now, thinking to read tomorrow, next one year, remember. So like this, so many use cases are there uh, at the end of the day. Hope is a good thing, probably the best of things. This is the only truth that I can write on a bond paper and give you. You will get your scores. 100% will get your scores only when you give exam once you are ready. Most of the people, 99.9999% of the students give exam even though they know they are not ready. It's just that they are not accepting it. You know it, man. If you are not feeling confident, don't give. It will not come. Take a visual mark, see the scores, only when you see a good score, book it.
If you're not giving, if you're not getting a good score in the official mock, you want more inputs, join our course. We will put in the right direction. I myself will be telling you when to book exam. At that time you give, you will get it. Before that you give, most probably you may not because that's what I've been seeing students on an everyday basis. I think these nine expert tips, I hope I did not bore you with my boring lecture, have given you all the insights, the real things, the required things. Well, if you really believe so that I've given a right one, leave your comment in the comment section and like, share and subscribe. Fine guys, I think that's all for today. Nine expert tips to get your desired score on the very first go. This is Nakul, N-A-K-U-L, Nakul signing off from Skills PT. Soon, we'll be back. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thanks much for watching this video.